I recently did a video where I talked about some of my high-level imaging workflows and I talked about the desirability of having a luminance processing path and a color processing path, each having their own uh, goals to drive the, uh, the, the processing that you do. Um, and if you're shooting something like an LRGB image, um, that's pretty easy to, to do because you have captured images with your luminance filter and that handles one processing path and then you have your RGB filters for handling the color path. But when you're shooting narrowband, traditional narrowband with hydrogen alpha, oxygen 3 and sulfur 2, you don't have a neutral channel and somehow you need to create one. And so what we're going to talk about today is how to create a synthetic luminance channel. What I have here are the master images from my IC1396, the Elephant's Trunk project. And these have been uh, already processed so that the ragged edges have been removed with crop. Um, we've uh, eliminated gradients using the dynamic background extraction. And we've done some um, noise reduction just to knock the fizz off the images. At this point, we'd like to combine these images to create a synthetic luminance. And what's the best way to do that? And the way I'm going to do it is using the image integration tool. And when you think about image integration, uh, what it does is takes subs and tries to combine them into a master image that has the best signal to noise. And that's what we want to do here. We want to take these three images and we want each of them to contribute what information they have to create this synthetic luminance. So since I have three images, I can use the image integration tool because it needs at least three images. Um, but the one trick here is that uh, the image integration tool only works by uh, accessing files. So I needed to write each of these three images to its own file, and then I can use this tool. So let's load the tool. We're going to add the files. And let's make sure we're going to the right directory. So 1396, and there are my three files. I'm going to load those in. I'm going to use the default image integration method of average. That'll work fine for this. I'm going to do no rejection. I'm not interested in rejecting pixels. I'm just inter interested in creating a good signal to noise synthesis of these three images. And with that lo get loaded in, I can just hit the button here and we'll start cranking and trying to create our new image. Okay, we now have a new image created. It's linear, so we're going to have to add a stretch to it. And now let's take a look and see how this compares to the other images. Let's bring this down a little bit. So now we have an image that seems to have a lot of the information that we wanted to get from these three images. It's been put together in an intelligent way, and we now have a good foundational image we can use for doing our synthetic luminance processing. 